Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Note 4 with me and in this video I'm going to share my top 5 hidden features found on the Note 4 which are actually practical features that can enhance your productivity. So let's start with the same and the first feature that I have is the pop-up uh, multitasking feature that Note 4 has introduced. For example, uh, for Samsung specific apps, uh, Samsung has added this feature using which you can just minimize a window and float it around. For example, you can also use it for contacts and other Samsung specific apps and uh, uh, you can actually minimize them. For example, you can hit this and minimize it. Now it will be floating around and you can do your work. For example, let's do to this one also the browser and they uh, and now you can continue to work and you can quickly access them back by just tapping it. So it, it is a very useful feature in my opinion, but it does not work with every app but uh, there is a trick to make it work with almost every app i would say almost and to make it work you just hit the multitasking uh, button and these are all the apps that you are running for example uh let's say i want it to be done for my gmail app and i just hold on it and just move it and now it comes up in my pop-up window uh, this will work for other apps also for example i particularly do this with whatsapp a lot and now i have it in pop-up window and I can just minimize this also like this so it just stays here so this is a handy way to get pop-up with the apps that are also not supported and this is a really handy feature in my opinion and let me just close this and let's move to the second uh, hidden option that I have is the side key panel and to first you got to enable it you can also keep it on your quick toolbar tray but to enable it you've got to go to the display and wallpaper settings and here in one hand operations enable this reduce screen size option and enable this side key panel and if you just go in this you do also have a lot of options for example you can adjust the transparency etc and you can even actually manage the keys that you want for example i added the reduce screen option also and to show you what it is for example let's say i'm in this web browser and uh, note 4 is a sort of a big device and it's not easy to reach every part of the screen but using the side key you can get the common keys for example the back home uh, and the multitasking tray right here itself so it is pretty easy and it just hides away when you're not using for example uh, let, let me just open the story and let's say I just want to quickly go back I can just use I have to stretch to go back to this button but here by using this I can just quickly go back to the home or do whatever another thing is this I have also enabled this option in that and this way it reduces the entire screen so it is manageable with a single hand so and you can toggle this on and off from the hotkeys you just and the name of this is the side key panel and I find it really uh, useful next is the keyboard hotkey for example uh, if you're using the Samsung default keyboard there is a very good feature for example uh, this is the standard keyboard and we do have sort of shortcuts that you can actually assign to these number keys for example I have added my signature if I hold this number key one for some time as you can see it adds my signature you can have up to 10 like this uh, for example for five I've put a dummy email address you can assign uh, whatever you want like this I also have this message uh, that I generally like to reply uh, so you can actually customize this and to do this you have to again go to the settings and here you have to go to the keyboard option uh, and that is in system that is language and input and under the Samsung keyboard go to the settings first and enable this my hotkeys to on and click on it and now you can assign your shortcuts you can add up to 10 that you would like so I find this uh, feature very handy next uh, is the S Pen feature again S Pen uh, offers a lot of functionality on the note 4 but this is one simple thing that I really like for example let's just go back and if I have my S Pen out uh, let's say it says the epitome I, and I don't know the meaning of that word that is epitome I just hold this button and I just highlight that word now and now I can directly access the dictionary and that shows me the meaning of that word I can open this one for more info I can use this feature also to translate to different languages and lastly the fifth option that I wanted to show you is regarding the camera and if you just go to the camera by default and this is for video recording and uh, by default if you go to the recording mode 
it will be in the normal mode like this. But to get the smoothest video uh, playback, I would suggest that you just enable this and then shoot the video. The video uh, footage will be a lot better as you can see in the sample footage. This quick sample with the Note 4 using the smooth motion option on the Note 4. Generally, if you pan around uh, with the normal mode, it's jerky. But just notice this on the smooth motion. I'm just moving around. Panning normally. So those were my five top hidden tricks. There is one more bonus tip that I want to give you and this uh, many of you might already know this but I do use this a lot on almost any Samsung device that I get. That is just go to the dialer, uh, hit this multitasking, go to the setting and in call just go to call alerts and enable this that is vibrate when answered now if you make a call to somebody you don't have to keep the earpiece near your head whenever the other person just picks up the phone the phone gives you a vibration and then you can take the call so this is a really handy feature so these were some of my top hidden uh, tips and tricks regarding the note 4 again the s pen has a lot of features on the note 4 so i will be making a dedicated video around the s pen and its new features i've also made some other videos on the note 4 links for those videos will be in the youtube show notes and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thank you this is ranchi and i hope to see you in my next video